here at the bins um, at the right house bins unfortunately I didn't find anything pretty good I might come back later since they're doing uh, rotations like randomly but let me show you guys real quick some pieces I hope you can hear me um so yeah there's a lot of uh, shit going on so this one I picked up just to add some weight to it black house I'm not too sure what it is this one also it just says work sucks let's ride I mean just to show you guys you know not we don't always find some badass tees out here it takes time usually I just pick up some random inventory for my eBay and shit I found two pairs of Carhartt pants some corduroy polos uh, some vintage adidas shorts for the ladies 1980s uh, Baltimore co coats this one is like a, I believe a 80s also Pittsburgh Um, other two tees, but let's keep it moving that way we can catch up to the other rag houses All right, so I know you guys are probably wondering why I didn't show the foot that first uh, Footage at the rag house. Well, basically here at the bins. We got a lot of people uh, There's a lot of people that are working there and just walking around so much and sometimes the Like the owner of the rag house. This is a bigger rag house. So the owners not there usually the owners work at the rag house too but in this particular one she doesn't she just randomly goes and and i just don't want to you know disrespect anybody since it's a different type of uh rag house the way it works compared to the other ones where they have a bunch of clothes and you got to dig through it here they have the bins so yeah um right now we're gonna go to like the opposite side of where I'm at right now I was gonna get down at another rag house but that one's actually closed right now for some reason um, but yeah let's go to I'm thinking maybe two three more rag houses hopefully you know um, hopefully we got some luck here and uh, let's get it let's see what we find So this is mostly how the rag houses look. Got a bunch of clothes here. So you really gotta look. So if y'all see something that I passed on or I missed, let me know. This looks like the same stuff I've seen already, man.
especially when it's fresh stuff is loose this is pretty hard to pull out as you can see or maybe I'm all weak <laughs> but damn I really want to check these hopefully they're car hearts oh, damn those are fucking tight dude oh shit yeah what's this Ryder Cup So what I also like to do is kind of look up comps for stuff I find because I found this one to Carter's blanket lined work jacket but the sold comps yeah so it comes 50 bucks yeah so there's only most of them are Carhartt but since it's kind of like a Carhartt style pretty dope let me show you so yeah I'll probably end up taking this one it's a bit um, ripped here, but overall it's good condition, size 44, I'll take it, so I guess it's probably it, I'll probably leave this one. So sometimes here they fill up these barrels sometimes you find good stuff sometimes you don't that one all right guys so i'm on my way to another rag house now i picked up some pieces off the floor just some resale items you know nothing too crazy and also from the barrels you guys saw me I just got oh. hold on oh damn it's hot so sorry about that noise um yeah off the barrels that you guys saw me pick through I just got two shirts I've spent I've been out since 8 a.m. it's already 11 so I've only been to two rag houses, so we got maybe like two to three more rag houses to hit, depending, right? I'll probably go back to the bins a little later, see if there's anything new. So let's get it. Whew. Okay, so we're here at the next stop, and uh, it looks pretty. It looks pretty decent. It's full. This this warehouse has their clothes outside under a big shade. Um, hopefully they got some new stuff you, I see some ladies right now looking for stuff so you sometimes catch people looking for vintage and you also find uh, ladies you know some other resale ladies that sell in garage sales or on the marketplace um, so yeah let's get it uh, there's a man right now he's actually dumping a bunch of clothes off at a truck so they're picking up clothes from the ground 
and dumping it in the truck Let's see if you could catch it yeah they, there there's a guy like with the forklift dumping all the clothes trying to clean up a little bit so let's go all right so right away getting here i found these jordans size 8 <laughs> look at this shit find here so far just these shoes I just got here so let's dig in I wanna go on that other side but that's where the guy's cleaning this is probably all old already but let's Hope for something good. So you guys know I'm in the real struggle. When you're actually looking for vintage, it's hard. My name is Dick. It's hard, I mean, you don't always get good days. That's why sometimes I just wait like a week. I gather all my weak finds and stuff and show you all um, unless I find some good stuff in one day or whatever you know but yeah that's the way it is that's how it is the hustle is real the struggle is real so yeah No luck yet, no luck yet. I just wish I knew more about girl clothes because there's always a lot of girl clothes everywhere I go. I need to learn more girl brands, popular name brands for women. Check this on that Puff Urkel. Sick piece. I'll take this one. Damn guys, I feel a little disappointed. I feel like I have let you guys down because uh, I haven't really been finding good shit, but I mean that goes to show you guys the real struggle you know trying to look for vintage clothes like directly off the, the rag house directly from the rag house and stuff it takes a lot of time a lot of uh, effort <laughs> just digging through a bunch of clothes as you guys saw um, right now it's 12 30 I'm thinking maybe one more rag house and then I'll probably go back to the to the bins the rag house bins and i mean hopefully damn hopefully i'm at least i need to find at least one badass uh 
T because fuck man but that's how it is that's uh that's the game the reality and uh we don't always find some good shit but when we do at least me i feel i mean i feel <laughs> i feel grateful for finding one good piece because it's hard but yeah um hope you guys are enjoying this okay we're here at the other rag house let's see So that went a little better than the last ones and it was cheaper. Well so far this is what I've gotten. Nothing too crazy. 
Yeah, nothing too crazy here at this rag house. This might be the last one. I got a lot of better stuff, decent. Like this, I don't know. I don't know what this exactly is. It's from the 80s. And then like a bulls. So all this came out to 450. <laughs> pretty badass right 450 four bucks so here with all this it's a lot of clothes i probably spent like 20 bucks then after the shower i'm still sweating but so before i show you guys some pieces i'm not going to show you the pieces from the first place because i showed you guys right after there but just to kind of give you a little uh, idea what we pay um at the rag houses so i have there's one two three four bundles and pretty much for the four bundles I paid it like five or six bucks per each so this all this some jeans this was five bucks all this too five dollars the shoes this and the hacky sack <laughs> all this for five bucks and in the last place i went which was probably the better stuff all this also five dollars so if you guys think you get steals and deals at the flea market or at the goodwill bins these are the real steals and deals at the rag houses but you just gotta put in the work the time and really dig through stuff so yeah let me just show you some some small pieces because i don't want to go through everything i don't want this video to be too long but let me show you real quick so i hope you guys could see me here this is the third rag house i went to kind of started getting a little better toward the end um so right away getting there saw these jordan 8s size 8 this uh what's it say here dream together here in the back i'm not sure the the name of these specific shoes i can't remember this one doesn't have laces they're decent i mean they're used you can see here and this one but maybe these in the flea markets you could probably they would sell them to you for like maybe five bucks three bucks a hacky sack i don't know if you guys remember but yeah this Steelers got a band's uh little denim type Some Carhartt jeans again, pants. This is 1990 Desert Storm t shirt, single stitch. This badass colored sweater. And this vintage Carhartt jacket. So I got all this for five dollars also. So these are the steals and deals. <laughs> Let me show you from from the last rag house I went to. So let me just show you guys real quick. All this was also this was actually four four dollars and thirty cents. <laughs> all this. So let me let me move it aside. Let me show you guys a CD. I was planning to hear it in the truck. See what kind of CD it was. <laughs> Just for the fuck of it, I got it. I guess it has a 1960s New York Yankees. Right here it says first string. 
World Series champions. And then inside. And the inside too is pretty badass. It says 1961 World Series. So I'm guessing this might be from the 60s. If it is, it's in pretty badass shape. It's not ripped at all. The zipper is fully functional. This, I'm not sure what it was. It is, I'm, sh I'm sure it's an 80s just because of style or older. It's like small. It's missing the tag, but I don't know what it is. Had a sick little graphic. I got it. Badass single stitch. So I have to look this one up. This one's very light, so basically free. <coughs> Bulls nutmeg. Also single stitch. For the ladies, a newer one. Cropped. Just inventory. This Jimi Hendrix. On the liquid blue tag. This one is actually 2006. Still a badass piece. Nothing on the back. This one might just be for me. I don't know. This one you guys saw, I got it when the guy was cleaning up. See, so this is nothing crazy, but I mean, if you go daily, you'll be surprised with what you find. And all these pieces, they just either throw away or whatever. Some Tommy jeans. Tommy Hilfiger, again, just inventory. I got several Patagonia. One, two, um, two Patagonias, I guess. This I have to also look up. Silver socks. Looks pretty old, the tag. The tag's ripped, but it's fucking small, so you know it's like an 80s, 70s or something. We need a pool. This one, just a simple, like, nature t-shirt. I want to say it's like an 80s. Or early 90s, maybe. single stitch and right when I got there the first piece I found was this Nike windbreaker I think the colors on it are sick there's a little Nike there the zipper there's a little Nike so the zipper wasn't there at first and out of curiosity I usually always check pockets and the zipper happened to be there. So it's a little rip, but it zips. Sick colorway, very classic colors. Um so yeah that's it guys. I don't wanna make this video too long. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um just to give you guys a little you know a little um what it is what it takes to find vintage clothes when you're really digging at the rag house you know directly from the rag house you don't always get good stuff you may be lucky but i mean if you really want the steals and deals the rag houses is a way to go buying stuff by the pound compared to thrift stores and goodwill bins and shit like that so yeah if you guys enjoyed it 
subscribe give it a thumbs up comment your favorite part or if i missed some pieces that you guys usually pick up or some pieces that maybe i missed in the videos or whatever in the rag houses sorry <laughs> um let me know and uh, hopefully i'll make another video like this or just another rag house finds video peace